So from a 10,000 feet perspective, what Uland does is we're an embedded financing provider that enables payment service providers, e-commerce platform and technology companies to extend capital to their merchant base uh, with a repay as you earn feature, thereby enabling their merchants to grow. Uland's platform enables our partners such as Shopify, eBay, Dojo and the likes to extend revenue-based financing to their merchant base. Our platform is modular-based, which means that our partners can choose to deploy our onboarding, our credit scoring, our loan servicing modules and, and capital servicing modules to, and, and capital to extend that financing to their merchants with one click. Okay, what does that really mean? It means that roughly 80% of, uh, of businesses and entrepreneurs consider their payment service provider or e-commerce platform their key financial relationship. It used to be the banks, but after the great financial crisis with banks pulling back, there was a hole in the market. And instead of being serviced by the banks, these businesses and entrepreneurs went on to become serviced by their terminal providers, by their e-commerce platform builders. And with that trust relationship, we now enable those partners to extend financing to their clients. What that means for the clients is they get capital at unrivaled speed, intraday, instantly, very often. They only repay that capital as they make money, it's revenue based, uh, which means they don't have to worry about fixed amortizations or repayment schedules. It happens automatically. Furthermore, we use data that is uh, agnostic to jurisdictions. So we credit score the same across jurisdictions and thereby enabling Shopify, eBay and the likes to extend the same product with the same user experience in the Netherlands where we stand today as well as in the UK, Ireland, Belgium, Germany and so forth. So we have that product parity that is key for our partners and that instant access to financing in our partner's name powered by us that helps their businesses, their merchants succeed. And we can see that work in the data because when these entrepreneurs and businesses obtain financing powered by us through our partners they grow 20 to 36 percent faster than merchants not obtaining that financing what that ultimately means is including more businesses in the financial ecosystem enabling them to foster and thereby our partners win so we only win if our partners win they only win if their end users win. That's kind of a win-win-win scenario we're trying to establish. So the way we provide the capital is through a range of SPVs where we have institutional capital providers ranging from Allianz Global Investors to American uh, uh, institutional funds, pension funds and so on, that provides the capital in SPVs that is, that is then uh, used to fund the, the end merchants. Sometimes it's our partners who provides the capital themselves to their own merchants and just use our IT infrastructure. Um, and, and, and that enables us to have a very flexible funding structure so we can service as many merchants as possible. Uh, to give you an example, through COVID, we did not decelerate funding. We did not freeze funding, quite the opposite. We increased the funding amount because the merchants needed it there. Uh, a lot of people are scared about the, the global economy, about inflation, whereas we trust our algorithms. Uh, we've seen how they performed during COVID and that enables us to actually turn, uh, turn on the accelerator uh, and, and capture more market share and service more merchants in a time where banks might be pulling back even more. So our software enables us to drive down uh, marginal costs through automation and innovation. Uh, that means we can, we can provide loans down to 500 euro equivalent and up to 2 million euros instantly. The typical, the typical funding size, because it can be loans, but it can also be a receivables purchase, slightly, slight difference, uh, is equaling one and a half months of revenue of the business or entrepreneur in question. So our growth strategy is clear. We are here to serve our partners so they can serve their merchants. We do what our partners request is uh, they are global technology and payments companies. They want to be, offer, to be able to offer the same product in the UK, Ireland, Netherlands, Germany and the US. So they want product parity. So what we aim for is to enable them to, pro to, to have that product parity, which is quite key. So we need to be able to have the same footprint as our partners do. And when you do uh, credit or, or business funding, that means tweaking your algorithms to be able to be as good in the Netherlands and Italy and Germany as in the UK. 
and that's the big challenge for us and something we've been successful in achieving, uh, which is the, the main driver behind the significant growth we've seen. We are currently live in the UK, Ireland, Netherlands, Belgium, Spain, Poland, and uh, at the moment in stealth mode in Germany, but for all practical reasons in Germany as well. We are opening in the US in September, and we're opening in, uh, in France and Italy in Q4. Normally, we don't talk too much about ourselves. Uh, you lend the name in itself is strange, right? We're here to service our partners in the background so they can, they can help their merchants grow. Um, so, but if I were to share something, it would be on the partnership side. We've recently launched with a number of uh, food delivery companies to extend financing to their chain of restaurants and, 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 and takeaway shops. So that would be one. There's a number of large uh, US and European technology companies that we're partnering with, where there'll be more announcements over the next couple of months.